Yo, what's up players? Today, what are we talking about? We're talking about three things. I'm gonna go over gear and items. A lot of you probably haven't seen before that are gonna do three things. They're gonna cause you to practice more because you're just more organized. They're gonna cause the environment around you that you practice in to be more inviting. And they're just gonna make you a better player. Your chops are gonna be crisper because you're just more efficient with the time that you do have. Uh, I'm gonna go through a lot of stuff quickly. So one item you may not need, and the next one's a total game changer, but I'll do so many and they're so different from the last. Just watch through them because you will learn something and I think you really enjoy it. I gotta start with this 30 second story. You invest 30 seconds in this, you'll probably remember the story the rest of your life. So two planes take off from LA to New York. The only difference is plane one does exactly what it's supposed to do, but plane two adjusts its trajectory by 3%. Difference, it lands over 50 miles off the coast in the middle of the ocean. What in the world has that got to do with guitar playing? Think of it, it's not these millions of new concepts that make you a good to a great player. It's the two to three percent things that compound over time that you're doing that make you amazing. So today, that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, let's talk about some gear. First, I wanna talk about something that everybody needs in their environment where they play, and that is a whiteboard. On my whiteboard, I have three things. One, I've got some sort of motivational quotes from some famous musicians I look up to, some scriptures, whatever it's gonna take to get me going. I've got my goals, because it's important that we stay focused on what we want. And then number three, which is really important, is your derailers. What's a derailer? So many times, if, if the creativity dries up, the momentum stops and you just hit this standstill. I look at my derailers, not even intentionally. I just look up and see them and it says, you know, you're shooting for perfection over progress. And that's so true. Shoot for progress rather than perfection. Or I'll look up, I don't got a deadline. I love the term deadline because what it means is beyond this line, the idea dies, it's dead. Because you'll never execute because the fire grows cold. I know what my derailers are. It's important as a player you know what yours are because it's again, it's not 50 new ones that hinder your progress. I'd be willing to bet it's the same half dozen that always throw us off, right? Um, so let's just talk some random gear all over the place. I'm gonna start with a, a little humidifier gauge for your room, why? Out of sight, out of mind. I used to have all my guitars and cases and it's great, but again, the purpose is to draw me in. If I get an extra five or 10 minutes that I didn't get yesterday because one's visible to me. This can help change that. It's worth the 20 or 30 bucks. Having a humidifier gauge in my room. Um, <clears throat> some random stuff that I think is funny. I'm just gonna go over stuff all over the board. Like, I used to use these Velcro straps and they're cool but they're kinda ugly and annoying and they take a while to do. Now I use these Diodario ones. You can just literally Wrap up your cable, strap it on. Oh, missed it. Strap it on and you're done. Piece of cake. Um, these, what the heck is this? This is a game changer if you have a pedal board. You take this little thing off and you stick it onto your board and it's gonna make all the cables, your patch cables, your power cables flow through there. You put the zip tie around it and clip it off and now you've got just this clean flow. So when you pick it up, move it, kick the pedal, it, you're not pulling cables out of nowhere. Plus it just looks better again. That 1% that makes it more inviting and makes me want to just turn it on. Hey, I'm, I'm all about it. Uh, speaking of pedal boards, then we'll move on. If you're running stuff in stereo and you got a cable from one end of the board to the other and it's bigger, sometimes just some color coding your, your little patch cables. So if you, one falls out or you gotta do something, I've had them so big before where I just pull one out and it's a mess and I just stop. So having stuff like this makes it makes it just funner. Last thing on pedals, um, these are a game changer, you guys. This I got from Sweetwater. I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff, but hey, you wanna you wanna sponsor me? I'm all about it. These are EBS. I think yeah, I got them on Sweetwater. They're the highest quality, most affordable ones that I can find. They come in different lengths. Why I like this? It's a flat patch cable and it means the difference of getting an extra pedal on my board. So a lot of them are just thicker. They're cumbersome. They, they don't, you know, get like this. This sucker's awesome. EBS, they make them in different lengths. Check them out. 
Um, let's keep going. Uh, how about this little tool? You've probably all seen this, but if you do your own adjustments on your guitar, this thing's awesome because you can obviously get the strings on and off a lot faster. You can clip them, you know, when they're done. You got this little guy where you're able to pull the string peg right on out of there. Makes it a lot easier. How about your environment? Um, I mean, half the time, I don't know about you all, but I got an awesome wife and awesome kids, even if you're just single and your buddies are out and you're not it's so easy especially where i live in minnesota to just park on the couch it's cold out fire up the tv and fall asleep if you've got something in the room you got a diffuser as silly as that is that smells good you've got like i mean wait for this you got like you know some lights in the room um on a friday if there's nothing going on this kind of draws me down and i just fire up something to jam along with or a looper pedal, which everybody's got to have one of these, and you're off to the races. It just, again, gives you that tiny little bit of an edge. How about um, another little hack? I use voice record, and any recording app's going to do good, but what's awesome about having a recording app on your phone, which you probably do, utilize it to the fullest potential. You can categorize your ideas for riffs in folders, so when you come back to it, you're not sorting through 50 different riffs or different licks that you're trying to you know, practice. You've got them in folders and you're able to fire them up at any time. And you don't have to fire up Pro Tools or Logic or whatever on your computer. Within five seconds of creating it, you can be literally recording it. Uh, another thing I'd recommend, I've got a couple of journals always next to me. One, this one's called uh, Lyricist Notepad. It's just got a bunch of lyrics. Um, but you know you've got a place for your your chords you got a place for the song title it's just cool i recommend using something like this if you're a lyricist if you're more just looking for ideas i promise you this if you do nothing more than just have a little notepad next to your bed or your phone app and you write down just where you left off and where you're supposed to pick up tomorrow so you don't spend 12 minutes fumbling through trying to remember where you were it's going to shave the learning curve and it's going to make you faster, better. I think it was uh, some writer, I think it was Hemingway. He said something that was really cool where when he wrote, he never pushed so far through the creative process that then he was scratching and clawing to find that next word. He said, I would always stop with some left in the tank, kind of like right past that height of creativity. Why? I've done both and when I heard that I loved it because when you leave right after and you just want to keep going but you have forced yourself to stop for a second, I promise it's going to pull you back. It's going to pull you back in an hour or a day, but it isn't going to be a month. Whereas if you push so far, it's easy to have that in the back of your head and just not want to come back. So I want you to think of these things. There's a bunch more ideas, but these will get you started. These are ideas that are just little hacks that are going to make you better. I want you to do me a favor. If you like this, you find value, check out the other ones, but most importantly, like it and subscribe because that means a lot to me and allows me to keep growing this channel and doing this for you for free. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. Otherwise, God bless and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.